police. <laughs> and, and welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with Mike. Yo, fuck police. Matt. Fuck the police. <laughs> Christy. Thugs. <laughs> John. Road pirates. <laughs> Highway men. <laughs> All words for <from> police. <laughs> fuck the police. <laughs> Uh, today we're talking about the Baltimore riots and the impact they might have and whether or not we support them, support the riots specifically as a viable alternative or a viable method for change. Or if protesting is a viable method for change too. Right. Well, we kind of talked about protests before. I don't think we never. I, I'm think thinking. We I'm thinking we're talking specifically about violence. Okay. Again. Okay. All right. And I think, you know, there's a lot of people. I I think amongst the anarchist community, uh, most don't support. Violent uprising. How about the voluntary rebellion, community, not the okay. anarchists. Right. Voluntary yeah. probably yes. better. Yeah. yeah. Christy, what we're talking. John, Steve, Matt, yes. and Mike. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. We, are, we are peaceful yes. people. Yes. We are peaceful people. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> that that being um, said. That, right. Yeah. That being said. Um, I think I think a lot of times. In these same circles, you get people who, uh, I don't know, honor is maybe a strong word, but uh, um, speak well of something like the Boston Tea Party. Okay. When, when the Indian Trading Company was essentially a private corporation. Mm. Right. Um. And so, my my question is, what is the difference between Although throwing the tea overboard from the from the Bos- at the Boston Tea Party, destroying the tea of this private corporation, mm-hmm. and destroying, say, a Starbucks or something in a riot? Um, okay, so I, I can go after that one real quick. Is that um, distri- Starbucks did not cause the problem? You know. They but are, uh, well, at the Boston Tea Party, the the, the India tax Trading tax Company tax didn't. Well, so yeah, so I, I will say either. Mm-hmm. They, they are they, collect. They are helping collect a tax for the king or for the government. So right? do the corporations, so, modern but, corporations. So, so that's what I'm saying, though. Does that does that make them the target? I would say no, because it, they they don't have a way to defend themselves against the government. They they can't stop the government from forcing a collection of tax or working, or you know. Force them to do the. I mean, nobody has yet. I don't think anyone's close to that point there. They can defend themselves against them. They have a lot of military hardware, so I, I don't know. Yeah, but in, but the case of the tea, in the in the case of the T, that was the mechanism, if you will, that the state, England, Britain, was using to extract wealth from the colonies, right? So they, they yeah. retaliated against the instrument that the Brits were and using. And they had a monopoly on importing tea to the colonies. That was the only oh, people that could do Oh, did they have a monopoly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 The right. Starbucks does not have a monopoly right. on coffee. Right. You know, True. it's not the only people that you can get coffee from, I guess, to, to, to kind of seal that up. But, but I'm not friendly to corporations. Uh, that's my position either. Right. I'm not friendly to the to the model of, of incorporation. And, uh, and corporations like, like Starbucks may not have a monopoly on their industry, uh-huh. but they are given privileges Absolutely. Yeah. from oh, the corporate. government. Any yeah. corporation is given privileges. Yeah, there, there is... That's no, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's no way you can have... Uh, well, I wouldn't say no way, but practically impossible to have an organization as large as... Most corporations, or the the major corporations in 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 the United States, are so, without having those privileges granted to them. So what I think we should talk about is like all well, these riots in Boston. It's just it's just been a few days into it. 
Like what? Baltimore. Sorry. Yes, matches time travel. Those rides are awesome. Sorry, after the next yeah. episode when they spread. <laughs> 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 no, but what are they really upset about? My understanding is police brutality, right? Yeah. So, so why is it that they're going after a bunch of businesses and all that? Um, I, I don't that's understand. That's weird. And, and, and is violence really a method to solve anything? It, I, in my opinion, it's not going to get you anywhere. No, it's, I don't it, think so. it's just going to no. get my understanding uh, the national guard out, and it, it, it's going to turn even cause even more, more violence. State. Mm-hmm. Well, in that same vein, though, don't they serve as a example of? government overreach when when these protests and riots occur and they quell them with with more violence yeah yeah with, a, a, well, lot with, of vi- a lot of videos going around so what, I, what, what i'm trying to say is is it actually a, an effective method like is this the way to do it i would say there, there's got to be a better way well but i do think more and more people are seeing the violence that the police um, are committing, but from these, yeah, I hate to have that, but they are seeing it. They Can't you see the violence inherent in the but system? The problem, if it, <laughs> it, no, if the don't. people, they're, if the people who are protesting or, or rioting, whatever you want to call it, if those people are using violence to, then it's going to be seen as the police are protecting themselves. And a lot of people are seeing that too. So. And that but, is something to be said, which kind of comes in a little bit from uh, the last episode of. You know, you if you were to turn on the cable news right now, there's a good chance they're going to show a picture of a burning building, some people carrying out goods that they've stolen. But what they're not showing, which is also going on at the same time, is that people are peacefully protesting in downtown Baltimore. Not only last that. I checked, you know, yeah. so they don't, I don't they're have not TV, showing that. So all I'm seeing yeah. are some of the clips on YouTube that people are trying to show the other side to mm-hmm. it. Which are, you know, where the cops are doing to peaceful people, mm-hmm. slamming yeah. them to the ground yeah, and yeah. pushing them and just inappropriate. You know, that's just police state gone mad. I think to speak to what we were talking about earlier, for instance, uh, the tea, uh, tea and destroying that property and that mechanism back then and comparing it to now, is we actually have tools now that allow us to productively to engage in productive endeavors to undermine the system that they didn't yeah. necessarily yeah. have back then. I agree. Uh-huh. Like, what do you mean? Like Video and internet. Like, and agorism. Right. Okay. You know, like, there's things that we can do. Yeah, pr- produce our own media and put it on right. on the inner tube. Uh, yep. uh, buy out of the system. <laughs> I mean, uh, unfortunately, that's not in the mainstream vernacular yet. Uh-huh. But we're coming to a point where we're empowered uh, to a degree, to 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 change, uh, without having to engage in in burning businesses down and stuff like that, or, or you know, taking the king's tea. Yeah. Another another thing that's important is um, the language we're using when we we uh, discuss the government. With a, a lot of voluntarists, you know, are very blunt about what the whole system is about. They they do understand that it's about extortion. It's uh, a bunch of basically thieves, murderers, liars, and Fuck thugs. the police. Exactly. <laughs> they're, they're all getting together and saying whatever they do is legal, and no matter who they kill, invade, bomb, attack, no matter what they're doing, it's legal, as long as they're wearing the right costume. So when, when you speak to it Colors. in terms that people... You can't really the right game colors. Yeah. Exactly. When you when you when you acknowledge what's really going on and openly speak about it, I think other people uh, will be empowered to do the same. And the more people we have doing that, acknowledging what's really going on with the state, uh, the better. The the more people we are going to have that don't engage in status action, we won't have people. If you understand what the state is really doing and that it's not in your best interest, they're not going to want to deal with those bastards. You know what I mean? It's yeah, and you know, I mean, just but that goes back to our last episode, right. on Brainwashing, uh-huh. or the next episode. Or the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get too specific about it. Yeah, I think this one might go. Yeah. 
same. Because of the timing. It's quite what's going prophetic, on. Steve. Uh, <laughs> I think you time travel. <laughs> Steve Trump time travel, not, everybody. I'm not ruling it out. <laughs> well, NASA invented the warp drive, that's so right. maybe right. that's what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows any better. <laughs> Brainwashing. <laughs> Next episode. Whew. These aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thinking the same thing. <laughs> you beat me to it. That's exactly why I did that. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, you know, they, uh, but I, I've noticed that just in the past couple of years, the more people I talk to personally when it, when it comes to, you know, police, uh, you know, the uh, at least more publicized violence by the police. Just over the past couple of years, more people talk about it. They're like, oh, yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, they're yeah. fucked yeah. up. And you should oh, be yeah. doing that. Yeah. Whereas, you know, you th think about just, you know, maybe four or five years ago having that same conversation with somebody, yeah. and they'd be like, oh, well, you know, he probably they're did something. It. He might, if they, yeah. yeah. If they don't want to get harassed by the police, maybe yeah. they shouldn't break the law. Right, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. I hear that less and less now, really. Yeah. 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 You st I still see yeah. it pop up on Facebook, yeah. though. Yeah. And I think every one of us has been harassed by the police, despite yeah. not breaking the law, though, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> many times. Yeah. Well, not many times for me. <laughs> Need to get out there, Christy. Rabble <laughs> <laughs> rouser. Yeah. Yeah. Up your street cred. <laughs> Let's emphasize that we weren't doing it. <laughs> you know, and then you know, even the things that I, I think it's important to bring up that. The things that are illegal, you know, the, the difference between illegality and immorality. You know, just because it's illegal doesn't mean it's immoral, obviously. And we, yeah. we all know that here, but I, I think that when it comes to a lot the, of... They're equated in because, yeah, that they're, they're, because of the brainwashing. Yeah, because of the brainwashing. They are, they are they're considered the same. That it must be moral because, well, there was the a law that was passed, and that means the only way a law is passed in... Which, you know, uh, the freest country in the world is by if, a majority, right? If you know? the only thing stopping you from doing something wrong is, is somebody line. wrote down a piece of yeah. paper, you're yeah. crazy as shit. Yeah. <laughs> I am sorry, but you, you know, you're you going to do it anyway. I don't. Somebody writing down to the people a piece of paper that you shouldn't do it, you're not going to listen to that. I'm sorry. You're gonna st if, if that's what's stopping you is the government, like, you have problems. <laughs> you know, I was talking to a guy... And, and he said, and I'm sure we've all gotten this, well, if you don't like it, run for office. Duh. And I said, well, <laughs> then, hey, Chris, then, 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 my <laughs> then my position might be, uh, my, posi my, my opinion might get represented, rep mm -hmm. represented, but then thousands of others are not being represented. Yeah. And I don't think that I or anyone else has the the qualifications to decide what other people should do with their lives. Mm -hmm. Better yet, no class is fit to govern. Exactly. Yeah. Lord Acton. <laughs> and uh, that, there, there's something mentioned too that it, maybe this goes with brainwashing too, it kind of does. There's there's still very much class a uh, class system in the United States just as there always has been since the beginning of time you know the, or or at least when it comes to no. what we might think of like a, you know modern well, civilization since since, uh, since the agricultural revolution anyway. yeah yeah you know, it's just now it's instead of you know always having more money or always you know having influence it's you know if you you know, put on a black suit with some black Kevlar and a badge on it, you are now a different class, and you can then tell them what to do, uh, you know, uh, but they're still lower down on the totem pole. Then above that, you have your politicians, which, I mean, that goes, you know, so yeah, far back. Uniforms, yeah. and then yeah. you have suits. Right. Yeah, <laughs> uniforms and suits, and, you know, that that's, that's something that I think has been... E not told or well, not uniforms really you have about. the white collar and then the blue collar yeah yeah it's it's something that isn't you know really told to anybody that's kind of made it seem as like oh well democracy got rid of that that doesn't <laughs> happen anymore because democracy you know well wait no 
No, it's it's still there. It just looks different now. Nobody's wearing a toga anymore. <laughs> They're wearing something else. Especially the right is sensitive to to when you in, when you bring up the aspect of class. It's most unsettling and most to, to people generally from the right you have some people from the left they'll kind of acknowledge mm -hmm. class you know yeah if you mention class uh, a lot of times from somebody from the right they're going to just assume you're a communist just by saying class in an argument they're going to be like oh yeah, yeah well what topic could you discuss with a conservative right wing type that you would disagree with them on that they wouldn't say Oh, you're just a liberal whack job. Well, that's part of the... the that's part of the brainwashing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think the we should have a, 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 an, an episode, episode on brainwashing. brainwashing. Yeah. I think that would be a really good idea. That's a great idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> we should really do that next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> now, John, right before we started taping, though, you had an interesting quote uh, going back to the whole violence against the state idea. Uh, did you repeat that? If I remembered it. <laughs> <laughs> Violence against the state? Yeah, you're saying something about overthrowing a tyrant. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's William Blake. It's the uh, iron fist that crushes the tyrant's head soon becomes the tyrant in its stead, something like that, yeah. That, that's the problem with revolution, is yeah. you just get back to the same Yeah, they're tyranny. just going to want the same thing. Same yeah, you're tyranny. right. They're violence begets violence, it, yeah. and I, I'm sensitive. Yeah. I know that I have the DNA to, to the programming to get behind something like that, but uh, fundamentally, I don't believe it. I don't, I know it's, it's a fruitless venture to, to met out violence, you know. Uh, so do protests um, beget revolutions. Usually that's how they start, so, more often oh. than not, but not necessarily. So if we want to do this peacefully, do we well, stop that cycle? And, and I think that might be a start, for sure, you know, because yeah. it's... I think, I think protests are, are, are uh, helpful only if they can educate. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So like yeah, handing out freezer flyers. Yeah, yeah, right, that's that's right. like that's a damn good yeah, one. Violent protests. Like aren't the good. the angst and the anger that we're seeing in Baltimore yeah. is completely legitimate, I believe. Right. Absolutely, but and, and not right. The way they unfortunately, yeah. it's misdirected. Yeah. It's misdirected, and then it disenfranchises disenfranchises them, and you all of a sudden you've got this huge demographic in this country that aren't even remotely sensitive to their condition to mm -hmm. their plight. Uh, simply because of them going by the means of destruction. And of course, like the media is always going to make it look like a racial issue right. because it you know, gets viewers. Ratings and revenue, that's all, mm -hmm. you know. Race and guns, man. Race, yeah. sex, and guns. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> you know, it, they'll, you know they'll, the odds of... I mean, it's not impossible, but the odds of turning on CNN or Fox News and them actually discussing, hey, so there is a not only just a problem with police brutality in the country, but, you know, any sort of, they're, they're never going to, you know, they may bring that up, but they're never going to say how to solve it. You know, they're never going to say like, oh, well, you know, all we really have to do is maybe, you know, I don't know, take take the cops either guns away at minimum or their authority away primarily which i think would be a great idea but you know at minimum hey have we has anybody thought about you know doing what the uh i mean i think they still do it in england they cops don't have guns cops don't have guns less people are gonna die what is it that you know in the past or you know, arm everybody or that you know or you know or not or not not arm everybody right, so allow people, uh, anybody uh, everybody yeah, should be equal, choice. of course, and yeah. we, we should all have the right to defend ourselves however we feel necessary. I mean, what is it that in, uh, there's been, you know, in a hundred years in Britain, there's been, what, how many people uh, killed by the police in a hundred years, and it's less than that. It's been like ten years, if not less, in the United States that have been the same number, you know. More, in, more Americans have been killed by police officers since the beginning of the Iraq War mm -hmm. than have died in the Iraq War. Wow. Yeah. 
And there, there. Uh, I wish I could remember the name of the website, but there, there's a website that does keep track of every single police shooting, on their own. I don't know how. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's gonna. That's. It's a pretty. You know, it's a they simple website. They can't get website. everyone. Yeah, they think. can't get everyone. Actually, but it's, everyone. it's a really simple a website. Who, who's ever is doing it is pretty dedicated because it's. Yeah. You know, there's a whole list of every. You know, or just about every shooting in the country during the year, and it's. You know, I mean, it's. And it's above a thousand for sure, you know, and uh, it's already getting a thousand pretty since when? Since, uh, yeah, right. No, so last year it was because a thousand. So, so, what's the real solution for the protesters what, or rioters, whatever you want to call it, protesters, whatever it is? What, what should they be doing? Hmm. Well, I guess the first step would be to. Uh, I always say that that you know, money does talk, and you know maybe hey. I'm not going to say don't pay taxes because that would be, you know, breaking a law on film, but, you know, maybe don't pay taxes. You I know, think, I'm not I saying think, that I you think, shouldn't I do think it, primarily but, step yeah. one, it, though, has to be recognizing what the problem is. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. Is it, is that That's always the step one. Right. Yeah, a- acknowledging <laughs> what's really going on here and having a conversation with it, a conversation about it with everybody who's involved and we're all a lot of people are involved in this and if we're all going to have a conversation about it, how, what's the best way to do it the, the level of suppression in the in in urban america is so multifaceted that it's kind of yeah that's true. it's really hard to to sum it up in a nutshell and do it any justice but um i don't think it's a situation we get out of easily and it's mainly because Starts with a discussion. Though. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. But the, you're talking about generationally suppressed people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And that's a that's hard to get out of. With Is it in DNA, the DNA? Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not to say that they can't or won't. I'm simply saying we need to acknowledge. Uh, yeah, there's a long history of oppression and 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 a, and a pit that they've been put in to one extent or another that's extremely hard to climb out of and uh yeah and it, and it makes me wonder you know how how much longer is there that people are still going to because what people do is, is is ask why it's what we do it's in our nature you know are, are they you know at, at one point or another where is it that you have a majority or at least you know a sizable amount of people that start to say why is it that we allow this to happen? Why is it that we continue to 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 suffer under this? You know, I mean, to me, that that that's that's the big question right there. Is that it, it's it's there, and then that there. The other question is, of course, what's the end round? How do we get there? But you, you really, people, or really, I, I hate to say it because people like that almost sounds like it's pejorative or something. But uh, you know, a majority of people, or at least a sizable group, has to start saying, why do we allow this to happen? You know, to me, and that that's where I, I think that's that's a start to, for me. Is okay, so by, that by saying going, that though, yeah. aren't you putting the fault on the oppressor on the oppressed though? I'm not blaming the victim, but it's you know, it, you know let, let's let's bring it down to an individual level. Somebody's in, in a, an abusive relationship to get out of it at one point or another, they do have to ask themselves, why do I allow myself to put up with this? So it, you I know, think. But, but at the same time, the difference between that and, and our collective situation under the government is to leave government is to go to another government. So that, right. so being to, to tie it back to the, mm-hmm. the abusive relationship, yeah. you're in a, an abusive relationship and your option is to leave that and go to another relationship another abusive relationship but that that's that's not the option it's it's the the option would be to you you could leave and you know be yourself and you could always that's the thing it's 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 a voluntary relationship versus an involuntary relationship and if someone is for it, i think i think the government the relationship with government is an involuntary one involuntary one yeah so that, that that's what i'm getting at is it's it's something where someone is if you if you leave then you you know we'll we'll do this or that we'll 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 basically stop you from not going along with what we want to do. That's it's an abusive relationship. So when, when you have the government 
uh, in that position with with all of you know the military equipment and everything that it does have, and all the people who are willing to use force against you for them, which is actually a minority when you look at it. It's there the when you're looking the, the at tiny specific, dot. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, tiny yeah, dot yeah. There's is, a good one. By Lark and Rose. Yeah. Dark and Rose. That's a good video, dot. the tiny dot. Yeah, check that out when it comes to how that this all relates to authority and all that. Yeah. They really are a minority, and, and and when people do start questioning, hey, you know what? Why are we listening to them? And they, and there's already a lot of people who are not listening to them, even even if yeah. even if they don't know about it, the government doesn't know that they're not being listened to. It, would there they are believe a lot of it? Would they? Be, I mean, let's just say the protesters. Would they believe that the government is the issue, the problem? The police. I mean, I mean, the system. Are I, they I think they know that I mean, well. No, I think you, you could. And plus, actually, there's some there's some artists that are doing really good work, like Professor Griff. You know that that maybe can reach uh, the African American, the black uh, population in America. That maybe someone like me isn't going to reach. It isn't going to reach right. them. Can't, they can't identify, can't identify with me, them. right? Yeah. So you got yeah. some black artists, yeah. for instance, that are doing some really good work and exposing this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see, I don't know how it works, but I'd love to see more people uh, of the inner city, for instance, have access to, to what they're saying, you know? Mm -hmm. Because uh, they're speaking truth the way I see it, and um, it's just a matter of, you know, penetrating that demographic and uh, you know doesn't, sometimes this sort of thing it, it, it comes down to I guess maybe you might want to call it you know propaganda uh, brainwashing R2 uh, yeah I, I guess you know I, I, you, might, you might call it brainwashing or unbrainwashing or, or something but you know when they're you know in the you know first American revolution there is uh you know, there was artwork going around. You know, there there's cartoons and newspapers. You know, talking about you know, uh, you know, the, the German king and, and you know all this sort of stuff and you know and and making fun of the situation. Now back then, you know, talk about bravery. Those people could be arrested and shot. You know, and uh, but that did have an effect because people are reading that and kind of laugh at it. And you know, laughter is a really interesting key to the soul. You know, right there is that you get people to laugh at how silly it is that they have a badge. Laugh at the fact that, you know, they've got a, you know, weird hat on and, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, and you know what else? You know what? Yeah, I, I think that's a really good point. Oh, I think yeah, laughter yeah. is, it, when, I, I, I forget, I might have posted this on Facebook. Mm -hmm. James Corbett. Go ahead, sorry. No, no, I was going to say, I, it was something along the lines of uh, one of the first journeys to uh, to freedom is being able to laugh at authority yeah, yeah. Uh, but I wanted to, I wanted to talk about something else real quick too um, and now I completely lost it bum, 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 bum. sorry about that um, <laughs> James Corbett recently did a piece about how the Italians are laughing at this whole Isis idea and, oh, really? and right, oh. so it just so he, he was saying that hey, this is this is brilliant. This is the way they're doing it because it wasn't just a few. It was just post everywhere about ISIS because I guess ISIS was threatening the Vatican or something like that, and they just like mocked ISIS, as, you know, the, at basically their own state and saying, hey, ISIS, have at it if you can. <laughs> <laughs> More power to you. Yeah. <laughs> The subway doesn't show up, or the train doesn't show up, so you get know, <laughs> there, you know, like, whatever, you know. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Good. So, you know, a lot of times, uh, speaking of, you know, persecuting people for mm -hmm. for dissident language, a lot of people will think, oh, that can't happen here. We have a free country, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but then a book called Freedom isn't oh, allowed yeah. in the prison system. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. It just got banned. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. 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 Kokesh's yeah. book, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. He tried, he tried to send some, one, a copy justice. to somebody yeah. in prison who requested one, yeah. mm -hmm. and the prison system sent him a letter back saying, your book is not allowed in yeah. the prison system. Yeah. 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 They didn't say it, but the way I view it is it's empowering, yeah. right? And, and, right. Yeah. And generally, uh, empowering means aren't 
you know, the government doesn't cotton to that too yeah. well. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's empowering Bitcoin and who knows what else, you know. Now, if you had some robot prostitutes right. who rose up uh-huh. because they were being enslaved, or enslaved, okay. perhaps. Would it be all right for them to riot? Would, yeah, would, would that be... Could we stop Acceptable. Them? Oh, I mean, are they are they being like? If you they know, gave us like, sex first, right. <laughs> <laughs> then they can riot. Whoa, guys, I think we're wasting time here. Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. <laughs> Violence isn't the answer, though. <laughs> Violence is not the answer for sure. That that we can all agree on. Have a good night. Good night. Good night.